Hello and welcome to this Filbert Flies review of Impulse Simulations Adelaide Airport Scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm on approach at the moment to runway 23 and I'm shooting this approach so that you can have a little look at the surrounding area and get a feel for the performance of the add-on on my system. You can find my system specs and graphics settings in the video description down below. I'll leave you to watch the landing in peace and I'll speak to you again when I've parked the plane up at a gate. From there, I'll show you around the airport in different weather and lighting conditions, and I'll finish up by giving you my overall opinion on it. Speak to you shortly. Welcome to Adelaide. We are parked up here on stand 26 left and as always we're going to start by having a look at the jetway connecting to the aircraft. And it's done a very very nice job. An almost imperceptible gap between the bottom of the jetway and the aircraft. No gap at all between the hood and the aircraft and it doesn't go through the aircraft skin so it looks very convincing indeed. Let's move on to having a look at some of the modelling on the custom jetway and some of the texturing. So everything looks very nice. Crisp textures, nice little details around these air conditioning units, slightly damaged yellow and black uh, tape at the bottom there. Looks very good indeed. And we have tinted glass, which maintains its tint from the inside as well as looking good from the outside. Very nice. Moving on to the terminal building, and once again we've got some very good quality modelling and texturing. No blurriness at all, even if you get super close. And while this corrugated texture isn't actually 3D, it is so well done that you really don't notice it unless you actually try to go through it to get a sideways view. Uh, which we won't do, which we won't do, because that's not fair. Um, moving up to the roof, and once again the textures are pretty good. We've got some nice signage here. These uh, jetway number boards look very good. And we also have a modelled interior as you may well have noticed. Let's go inside and have a look at that now. So the detailing in here is really pretty impressive. You can see that we've got some really nice modelling and uh, we've got lots of nice details such as these uh, LCD screens showing departure information for each of the gates, uh, desks at the gates and all of the signage is super crisp and easy to read. We also have ramps that take you down to the jetways, which are of course below the floor level here, so that's nice to see. And the glass here again maintains its tint from the inside. PBR materials have been used throughout, which means we've got nice reflective windows, uh, both the transparent ones and the uh, blackened ones up here. And the glass isn't absolutely perfectly smooth, so we get nice realistic reflections as we move along. 
The control tower looks pretty good. The textures on it perhaps not quite as impressive as those on the main terminal, but once again we've got reflective windows and we have transparent glass on the operating floor with a very, very nicely modelled interior. On the roof we have a rotating beacon, uh, which looks very nice, nice to see this operating, although the flashes of bright white and green light that you see actually have nothing to do with the beacon itself. Now, I imagine that's a necessary compromise in Microsoft Flight Simulator, you couldn't actually make this beacon project light in the way that it would need to be projected to be seen from the air. The modelling and texturing of the peripheral buildings has been done to a very high standard, as we can see here with these hangers on the edge of the general aviation apron. Really high quality textures, no blurriness, and the signage looks absolutely fantastic. I'm particularly impressed by the edges of these sliding doors. Just the weathering and the dirt and the lack of repetition. Really nice attention to detail. The Royal Flying Doctor's service apron and hanger has been very nicely done too. Uh, once again, really high quality modelling and texturing and it's really nice to see these static Flying Doctor's planes around the place. We have some static aircraft on the main apron as well around the terminal building, but these have been placed out of the way on remote stands so you shouldn't have any trouble finding somewhere to park. The quality of the static aircraft models is very high. Good quality texturing, no blurriness, no jagged edges as you sometimes get on worse quality static models. There's also a good amount of ground clutter around the airport and this is also very high quality. It's ground texture time now and my overall impression of the ground textures are that they are not too bad but they're not amazing. There is a fair bit of blurriness around these uh, concrete slabs on the main apron, uh, particularly around the cracks and you will notice that as you're taxiing along from the cockpit view. Further away from the aprons we have a very different texture for the taxiways which doesn't particularly closely match the real airport. It's not a million miles away but it's not the most accurate rendition that I've ever seen. The taxiways look pretty good and I'm a particular fan of these repairs that have been done. These are not hand placed to match the real airport perfectly, um, but they do look very realistic. There's also a good amount of rubber marking around the taxiway centre lines and I'm impressed with the smoothness of the edges. There's no jaggedness here at all. The ground textures on the GA apron are slightly odd. You'll notice that we have diagonal light lines running across the ground here, and these look particularly strange as they cross over the darker areas, making them look almost like mirrors. The accuracy is not the best here either. If you compare the ground with what the Google satellite imagery shows, you'll notice quite a few discrepancies. That said, if you are taxiing through here in an aircraft, you're probably not going to notice much wrong with it. So again, not amazing but not the end of the world. The grassy areas look nice, as do the 3D taxiway signs, which are very clear and easy to read. And Impulse have done a really good job with the runways, which look very, very close to their real-world counterparts. The markings are spot on, there's a good amount of rubber around the touchdown zones, I like the repairs which seem to be roughly in the right place and certainly add some life to the runway. Uh, yeah, very very impressed with these. The ground markings look very good indeed. We've got nice crisp yellow taxiway lines and we've got red markings which by and large don't pop out too much. They're nicely faded. There are one or two exceptions uh, such as this and this. You will get uh, bright red sections here and there which, which spoil it a tiny little bit. But yes, overall very impressive ground markings. They've done quite a good job with the land side areas as well. The terminal entrance looks great. Uh, we've got elevated road here, as you can see. We've got a little kiosk, a little WH Smith Express kiosk underneath it, and some good signage out the front of the terminal. There's no transparent glass here, but that's hardly a deal breaker for a land side entrance. And uh, as we move left and down, you'll notice that we've got some nice planting and some really pretty good ground textures as well. 
The car parks are modelled and are full of 3D vehicles, as you can see over here. And uh, even further away from the airport, they've put in quite a lot of effort to recreating the surroundings. You'll notice that we have an IKEA and a Bunnings, again with uh, cars parked up, some fantastic roadway textures and some really good landscaping quite a distance from the terminal entrance. And should you choose to come and visit the Bunnings, you'll notice not only high quality modelling and texturing, as we've come to expect from what we've seen so far, but also a sausage sizzle in progress down here. Now, look at the detail. Look at the detail on these sausages and these ketchup and mustard bottles. Utterly incredible. Kind of pointless, but I really, really like it anyway. <laughs> Here's Adelaide by night, and the lighting is absolutely fantastic. We've got a very realistic glow cast from the various floodlights along the front of the terminal here, and we've got a good amount of light coming from inside the terminal as well. The balance is just right, and it feels very realistic. The runway and taxiway lighting looks really good as well, and even the Bunnings and the IKEA are well lit. So what do I think of Impulse Simulations Adelaide? Well, I think it's rather good actually. High quality modelling and texturing, great little details inside and out, and impressive landside coverage. The only thing I've found to moan about is the odd bit of slightly dodgy ground texturing, but this isn't a deal breaker and shouldn't put anyone off buying an otherwise great airport. Thanks for watching. Do please give the video a thumbs up if you found it useful, subscribe, make a cheeky donation if you'd like to, and I hope to see you again soon here on Philbert Flies. Bye bye.